All right, beautiful soul. So let's talk about why ancestral trauma matters and how, why it's showing up in your life and affecting your life and everybody you love and what you can do to break it. So you gotta go back generations, right? This might be one generation ago, your parents, your grandparents, it could be generations and generations ago. I know in my own life, the core trauma happened about seven generations ago, something really, really horrific. And so things happened to our ancestors, things that were really hard to deal with, that were really painful, right? And a lot of them have the luxury to get on and do the breath work and do the yoga, right? They had to survive. So sometimes it was so painful that they just disassoci disassociated from it and just shoved it down. Or they had to be busy surviving. They had kids to raise. They, they just literally had to make it, right? And they had to get through. So when that pain is shoved down, it is still alive. So it gets shoved down often from generation to generation, to generation to generation. And for a lot of us, it's showing up in ours, right? You can tell the repeating patterns in your family by the things that keep repeating. So what's repeating in your life? The patterns, right? It might be the same type of relationship that keeps showing up, the same kind of abandonment that shows up. It might be the same type of addictions that are in the family, and it can be this repeating patterns of disease, right? Are there patterns of certain kind of cancers and diabetes, different things in the body? Because when things show up in the body, they've already been in the energy field for quite some time. So they're showing up in you, in your family, because they want to be released. And how do you release them? Well, it's important to feel and to walk the healing journey. So the most important thing is for you to make a commitment to, I am gonna heal and follow your instinct, follow who shows up as teachers, what your way is. There's lots of different healing modalities out there right now. But first of all, just to walk the healing journey, so, so important. And then to feel the feelings, feel what is coming up that's wanting to get released. Hmm? And as you walk this journey, so for me, like I've been on this deep, deep healing journey for 10 years. And yes, yeah, sometimes it can be challenging, but it was more challenging before I did this work. And more and more, I release more joy. And more and more, I am breaking the patterns in my family. And that is amazing to watch your children lives get better, to watch your brothers and sisters lives get better for me like even I have watched the generations before me even those that have passed right um, so when you heal yourself you heal the seven generations before you and after you so you know they've proven the trauma can stay in the DNA up to 14 generations and for a lot of us this is what is coming through so beautiful souls it is time to heal there's nothing more important than this. So you can stop the pain and you can walk. You can leave a legacy for everybody you love of freedom, of joy, of inner peace, of love. And when we do that, the other beautiful perk is that we start being more connected to our, to Natsin, our Mother Earth. Mm and we are connected to the responsibility we have for our beautiful earth our animals and we get to heal the world heal humanity heal the world it begins with you i love you